You're a wizard, wizard, Harry, wizard, Harry, 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 Harry. Wait, this is not my uh, magical staff. Let's try again. You're a wizard, wizard, Harry, wizard, Harry. Wizard. Okay, that I think that's not how how it's supposed to look, right? <laughs> Try one more time. You're a wizard, wizard, Harry, Harry, Harry. Okay, well, <laughs> well, that's not my magical staff either. Let's try one more time. You're a wizard, wizard, Harry, Harry, Harry. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Sinkers, Sinkers, or Floaters, or Floaters. Or floaters. Or floaters. In Sinkers in or Floaters, we play computer games for about an hour and then decide whether they sink or float our boat. And in today's episode, we'll be having a look at a game called Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. 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 This game is available on all sorts of system. I got it on Steam myself. And we're going to play this game in 1440p with everything on Ultra. I hope I can bring you a nice and clear picture along with some horrible jokes that ruin everything. And at this point, I feel it is quite time for us to jump right in. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. 
Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did <laughs> Wigan Weld Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. 
Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten Shh. form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Wait, is he coming? But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Me. <laughs> I matter. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh, we get to cast spells. <laughs> Excellent. Still got it. So we got a second hand wand. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Oh, really? So let's just blast everything. Blast everything. Can he pull himself up that wow okay well that's uh, i hope i can do that in his age so he wants to go that way that means we're gonna go this way maybe we're gonna ah ah <laughs> we found 37 coins okay well it's better than uh, zero coins, at least in my book. We're close now. It's just ahead. Don't mind if I disappear for the cutscenes. Steady yourself. The bridge. A little bit of blasting never hurt anyone. Except for everyone that got the blasted. <laughs> but they don't count. So there's an auto aim. I don't have to do anything. I just look towards something. He led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. So I'm not very familiar with Harry Potter world. I saw, I think, all the movies once. And that's it. But it basically means I know everything by memory, including the books that I never read. <laughs> All right, mini map. There we go. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. It's a mural. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. It's a blast. <laughs> Professor. 
Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Blast from the past. You know, considering it's plays in the 1800s. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But so, what could it be blocking? Shh. What's this? <gasps> Professor Fig. Moaning women. Hmm. Can we go there? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. Oh, there we go. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wake the goblin. Oh! It should be Derby, what his name is. Maybe his his dad. Hello. <clears throat> Doby, there, got it. A moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Calling it now, it's going to be a wand. Or a staff, or whatever it's called. After you. What if I wish to lose them? How many volts are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. V 
Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? Again. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Shh. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. This is pretty cool. I approve. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Can we get rid of those tooltips? Jeez. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poor. Why don't you teach me to Not cast the Lumos, too? Lumos! 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 Dear, I suck. Sorry, Professor. see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm Who fine. Who is that guy? 
You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes. Perhaps I should. Oh, that turned me around? Oh. Nice try. So we're just one time we're doing this following the, the line and then we got it and can cast it with her. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards the me. Hot key. Quick it key. Does follow the light. Sure, they're peaceful. Look out! Protego! Accio! Defecto! Let me also depose! Deposo! I suck. He's much better. Oh, we want to do those that uh, move that are, have almost reached us first. Review your objectives. Protego. Oh, we just need to protego. Oh! How dare you, sir? Oh, we got to have the timing right. It's like a block, basically. Get the blasted, sir. Also gonna make a, what? Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, Professor, Professor. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, I saw. Uh, uh oh. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I know, but I need to loot first. Do we? Maybe we get more chests here. Lumos. Oh. Okay, I guess we can't go in the wrong direction, huh? Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Wait, loot! Lumos! Oh, wait, we cast Revelio. It shows us all the boxes. It cancels the light. I mean, it shows us the chests. And you know where you have to go to loot. So what do we do with those? Uh... Oh. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Okay. Do we do we cross the the lasers? Oh. oh, I just need to stay in front of them. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Pretty much aligned. I mean, sorta.
Wait, I do have to wait until he stands and then he turns? Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Oh, I turned the bottom statue, never mind. So this one. No, don't turn the right. Oh, man. Walk away this. No! Oh, wait, I need to go where. There we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Okay, boys. No, which the uh, protection uh, help? Protect me, daddy. <laughs> I mean, uh, protect. Hold Q to stun enemies with stupefy counterattack during Protego. Okay. Which one's gonna go first? Get the blasted. Ow! I stupefied the wrong one. This is a long stun, and I'm going to move my camera. Oh, wait, we need uh, this. Lumos. And then we need this. Lumos. Revalio and Lumos. Boy, oh boy. After I play this game, I'm going to be a real wizard. I know all the spells. I'm going to become a super nerd. this it's a perfume uh, bottle there you are how did you oh the shabalash what is this place I don't know but I found this floating above that Basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. too well I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can 
Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I'm a visitor tonight. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Perhaps I do. Better be Gryffindor! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. 
I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Is she like the grandmother of Ron Weasley? It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Grand this should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. What sort of entrance is that? It looks like a sewage tunnel. <laughs> Grata Domum. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. So that was uh, pretty cool. I've enjoyed it. And now it's time to uninstall and format my hard disk. <laughs> Can we interact with anything? Oh, right. There's like flying on the brims. The brim flying. And I guess we can fly in this game. And since I got the deluxe edition. Oh, no. There we go. I got the griffin. Find my common room. So there's no map and M brings me to this menu. I for inventory brings me to this menu. I guess maybe it's not available in uh now, in the academy. Which way is the common room. It's clearly downstairs. Level one lock. I'm not even level one. In Ladies. Pew. No. Oh, we don't do that anymore. Oh, okay. Well, just pretend it never happened. Ignatia Wildsmith. I guess we do a fire spell here. Oh, we got the magical girl up there. Oh. Let's blast her off the fireplace. No, just kidding. Oh, well, we gotta talk to her first. Introduce yourself to Nelly, Cressida, and Gareth. How do I do that? Do I fly up myself? That girl thinks she can get away with anything. Nelly will do anything for a thrill. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blast her off there, okay? It was a joke. I don't play I really unlike like some people, I don't play psychopaths in all the role-playing games. Garrett Weasley. Wait, is that the Ron Weasley like his father, maybe, or grandfather? Sure you don't want to try it? Brood it myself. Hello? You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. 
It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? I should have picked a different name. Well, as it I see it, there's now. a little difference fundamentally between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Butterbeer. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. It sounds like when I was in Nepal, they have like, they have butter tea, which is disgusting. Some of us are tidier than others though, aren't they? No, is this guy? Oh. Shame you weren't born oh, an apple. Town. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And I teleported it into my hands too. Excuse me, I don't mind if I do. I'm insane. <laughs> if I get caught, I shan't offend she can you. Get away with anything. Nelly will do anything for a thrill. <laughs> oh, this got to be house chest. This is my inventory. But if it's a house chest, then everyone can just get the stuff from it. Okay, let's talk to this girl. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fink's protege? No, I'm actually a horse. What do I say here? I studied with him. That's not true. Or is it true? I don't remember. We might have a little bit of a studying with him before we went over here. I don't want to lie. Uh... I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. I'm sure getting angry helps. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. No Alright, how do we talk to her? Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't intentionally. Uh how do how do I talk to her? I hope a professor Luma. catches her this time. Caught, I shan't offend you. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. <laughs> oh, this is Nelly. No. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. 
Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds. You don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> Or you your corpse know. after you Bye fall. <laughs> ah. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. What an entrance. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. A book? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Uh, okay. All right. Well, it looks like we have already reached the ending for uh, today's little video. This game is a Lotto! I think the game is pretty cool. I like what I've seen. It's very cinematic. It feels almost like uh, watching a Harry Potter movie. Now, I don't know where the story is going, but I really want to find out. And for that, I'll be here streaming this game for uh, probably for many hours in the next coming days. Anyhow, thank you for hanging out. See you in the next video. Goodbye.